Okay, so we're going to use the uh, cone tool right now. So this is what a what cone looks like. Okay, we're just going to um, clear this out. Okay, let's click on cone. Notice the little icon, the cursor is in the shape of a cone. Drag it out in the top window and it makes a circle just like the ball in the disk tool did. Okay, and then we'll click uh, underneath it and make ourselves a cone. Now, what happens if we see, isn't that interesting? Okay, so I clicked above it, it makes a cone facing up this way. But if I drag it downwards, it it still makes the cone facing up that way. Now let's go undo. Let's click on cone again. Let's draw it out. So if I click underneath, instead of going this way, I click underneath. See how it's facing, still pointing straight up. Let's hit N for numeric. Okay. And... can see how it's facing certain directions okay I think what it does is it uh, it faces it in the, um, the positive axis. okay um, I'm not really sure if you can actually physically um, make it point down the other way um, No, I don't think you can. Yeah, see what it does? It just switches it. So basically, if you want it to uh, face the other way, okay, you have to actually, you know, go to the Modify tab and go Rotate. And in this case, we can rotate it uh on the x-axis, say by 180 degrees, and then it's facing down. Okay, so let's um, undo that, and let's just clear that out. Let's go back to our cone, draw it out, and just make it a little taller. So. You can stretch it to the shape that you want. Okay, same thing. All these little crosshairs work exactly the same way. The blue uh, crosshair in the center um, actually changes its position. It's in the dead center, no matter what window you're in. Okay, um, you can actually, whoops. You can actually grab it even in the perspective window, just like the other tools. I didn't show that for the other tools, but you can. Um, oops, you can actually grab a lot of this stuff, oops, you can actually, uh, in the perspective window, you can actually manipulate just like you did in these windows. It's a lot, it's a lot easier and safer, I find, to try to do everything um, dead on, like in the top, back, and right view. Uh, you can do it in this window. Um, there are some interesting things. These, If you look in the perspective window, there is... whoops, sorry about that. There are these little sort of widgets here and those are those ones. These little side ones and you've seen them in the other uh, sh uh, shapes primitives as well so you know these top these right angle ones are, are these ones right here so things get a little crazier when you try to do it in this window and these ones right here are these ones that are sort of just floating in space on the sides and they sort of look like little kind of look like diamond shapes here so you said a few different ways that you can manipulate the cone. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> and once again, let's hit the numeric uh, panel. 
Um, you can change the sides so you can almost you could make it like a pyramid you could turn the cone into a perfect pyramid shape without having to model it you can have a pyramid with five sides six sides so see look at that and you can have a three-sided pyramid but it notice it doesn't go any lower than three sides okay then you got segments which builds up the sides sides of the, you know, your little pyramid or your cone. Okay, and all these same functions, everything works the same way as these uh, little crosshairs. You can move and drag things around. Okay, you can got, uh, you know, you can center everything. Um, you can actually size the, uh, the top and the bottom. It's actually kind of neat. So if you look here, it says bottom and top. So bottom obviously controls the bottom. You can pull that in, top. You can actually pull it up or down. Okay, radius brings it in and out. And basically it stretches everything equally uh, with, with the radius settings. You can, it stretches everything equally on both sides. Okay. Um, make UVs once again because there's a UV selected it'll actually physically work um, if there was none selected see now you can't you can't use it okay now it's gone so let's go new and we'll put bird and we can select uh, cylindrical I guess create and if we go to our UV texture area, we'll see that it unwrapped it. Okay, so that's pretty much it for that uh, that primitive right there. Um, using the numeric panel, I think the coolest thing about this is is the fact that you can take that cone and turn it into a uh, a pyramid. I kind of like that, so I think that's kind of neat. So, okay, so we're going to move on to the next tool.